Hi, Divines. So, here we are. We are taking an old permrod set that was transferred from poof to puff, and now we are doing a two puff style. So, stay tuned so you can see the results. I am taking out my scrunchie and shaking up my hair because I molded my slick puff before, so we need to fluff it back out so I can get some of that volume back. Make sure you have a spray bottle. I like to get mine from Sally's. And you want to spray the middle of your hair as much as you can to get that slip back on your hair so it's easy to part and detangle because now we are splitting hair that was going towards one ponytail. Now we need to make two. Here we have Honey Baby's Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love the movement of it. You just shake it up and spray and you are all set to go. Here is a parting comb and I like to use one that is nice and thick so it can break right through my hair. Also that line and the part that you want to do you should line up with your nose in between your eyebrows. You want to continue the part from where you stopped where you can see it in the mirror as much as you can. And then when you turn around, you wanna feel where the part is and make sure the comb is flat so that you can continue that part to keep the line as straight as you can. Some of those old curls from the perm rod set will cause tangles. So just add a little bit more water and those curls should break through. As you can see, we should have our straight part and now we're going to bun up one side to keep it together so we can work on the other side. We're gonna coat the hair again with some leave-in conditioning spray and maybe a little bit of water just to give it that moisture back. And we're gonna do our hair balm now. Shake it up and you'll see it's a pomade that turns into an oil. Love the movement and the shine. Place it all around the base of the ponytail and make sure you get the edges in the front as well and slick up from the back and this is going to add that moisture but then also that shine on our ponytail now you want to grab your intense styling holding gel which also has really good movement and shine and apply that at the base of the ponytail If you are looking to use these same products to make a slick ponytail like we did before, check out last week's video and I will add the card right at the top and you can just click the link. Now we are using our coarse brush first to get all the tangles out and to smooth the hair before we use our soft brush. And the soft brush will bring all those hairs together so we can have a smooth foundation. I'm going to show you the shine on that and the smoothness. That was amazing. Make sure you get a thick scrunchie, especially if you have thick hair like mine. And I'm going to wrap it three times to make sure I get that nice hole, but it's not too tight. You can find these scrunchies at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart or even just at the beauty supply. Let's do the other side. We're gonna wet it. Make sure we get a little more water on there. Add your leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna massage that in. And now we're gonna apply the hair balm. And as you can see, we're adding that shine in, just massaging it in. I eventually had to get a clip as well to clip over the ponytail on the other side just to make sure we don't get any hairs crossed over. So we're going to start with our styling gel to give us that nice hold. You can see already the shine that's on the base of the ponytail. I absolutely love it. The details of these products will be in the description, and they are called Honey Baby Naturals. Now 
Then we're going to use our fine brush to get all the smooth kinks. Just make that base nice and smooth and shiny and bring it all together. You want to make sure that your puff balls are even on all sides. Now we're going to wrap the ponytail three times. And look at that. So if you would love to keep your two puff balls, you definitely can. My hair is getting a little longer, so I'm going to turn them into two puffs. Like tiny little messy buns. So get two more scrunchies and a couple bobby pins and start to tuck the hair. You'll get to see the direction of your ponytail and see which way your curls should go. Whether they should go towards the back, towards the front, counterclockwise or clockwise. And just start pinning in those curls to secure the shape of your bun. Let's do the other side. So we're putting on the scrunchie to hold the shape and to hold the hair in place. And the bobby pins are holding the individual curls where they should be. Just want to make sure everything is even. Got a couple loose curls. Sometimes I like to pull on my buns a little bit to see which ones are going to fall out because we want to be able to go out in our summertime breeze and not lose our ponytails or any shape. So now we're going to do the finishing touch of our edges with Eco Styling Gel. And I use the Red Top Argan Oil because it's softer on our hair but it has a very good hold. And you just want to add those nice swoops just to make it look nice and seamless. Now the key to this style is tying it down for a couple of minutes and taking off your scarf and voila! Look at that. Check out the photos on Instagram in the link. Bye.